Okay, so we'll now head inside, and as you can see, you could go in the side door, which is just over here next to the garage, or you can come in this entry here. We will take in this entry. The doors on the outside are really lovely, as you can see, you have the, and they match with the side lights, and sort of done in a taupey colored vinyl, which is very nice. So, you step in, and you see these beautiful uh, 12 by 24 tiles. But that's not really the impressive part. The impressive part is when you look up. <laughs> and as soon as you look up, you see that. Now, obviously, we're not at the best time of the year to be seeing that. But even at this time of the year, uh, as the sun is setting, you see how beautiful it is. So we'll get to that in a minute. Right off the entrance, you have double mirrored closets, which is always great. Uh, and it's nice because you can check your lipstick before you step out the door. From here, you have stairs that go up to the sleeping quarters, or you can step through on these gleaming hardwood floors into really what your pièce de résistance and where you will spend the large majority of your time uh, in the wintertime uh, and in the summertime, and it would be more than likely out there. So as you can see, it's pretty much a full wall of glass here because you have uh, fixed windows, but then you have double sliding doors with the double glass as well in each door. So it's great for um, maintaining that extra uh, insulation. And then this, which is really fabulous. You have like 180 degree views and you know we're in January or sorry the beginning of February and so you see what we have we have snow but there is a lovely deck out there and you can just imagine uh, what that would look like when there's going to be fishing boats and people out there on pleasure craft and kayaks and paddle boards and you too could be doing that over in the distance on the left hand side there is actually the gas bay the uh, Quebec side you see the mountains and then as you head down over on that side we're heading down towards the Acadian Peninsula but an absolutely beautiful 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 view no matter what time of the year. So back to the interior of the house. As you step through the sitting room here, you have your nerve center as it were, the kitchen area. You have um, ceramic floors here which look a little bit darker in the video but they're a really nice almost like a slate uh, looking uh, ceramic. And you have what appears to be like a, a white maple cabinetry and lots of it. You have some newer fixtures, some newer lighting. You have a quartz countertop with an overmount stainless steel sink and a nice gooseneck faucet. And the gooseneck faucet sits in this, over the sink and you can look over into another beautiful area where you wanna see uh, where you could be sitting and watching the water. You have a lovely dining room area here. Could also be a beautiful place to sit and have that coffee in the morning as you sit and watch the sunrise. And again, with the uh, sort of five penny shape to it, you get that full vista of views. You also have patio doors coming out here onto a deck which you can't see but it goes right to the edge over there and wraps all the way around. So you have just tons of entertaining space here. It's absolutely beautiful. Heading back into the kitchen you can see stainless steel appliances, your dishwasher, and then your nice stove with the stainless steel backsplash there, the hood, and then your fridge. One of the other cute little things here, if you can see down at the bottom here, is where you would sweep up and it would sweep it right into your central vac. So obviously there is a central vac here. So if looking at it from this angle here, you have an air exchanger. And from here, I'll just close this up. This is the door to the lower level. Off of uh, this area here, you have one of your two main bathrooms, but also your laundry center, which is nice to have on the main level. And then you have extra storage behind that as well. Also ceramic floors in here. And again, looks like a quartz countertop with a good amount of storage here, the toilet tucked in behind, which is kind of cute. And then you have 
your tub with lights and it's a full insert. Something else that's kind of nice here in your laundry center is to have your ironing board tucked away and again more storage there. So very well thought out. So from here we hang a left and you're into uh, what the current homeowner sort of has it set up as a study which is really beautiful but you could also use it if you wanted to as a formal dining room uh, or even just as a hangout uh, for reading or playing video games. And as you circle around, this is the second entrance that when I was standing on the back step, I had shown you the, the entrance next to the garage. So you could come in straight off of that and straight ahead you would have closet space. And then we head into a beautiful, beautiful bonus flex space. As you can see, the current homeowners are pretty serious about their working out, and they've turned this into a pretty gorgeous uh, workout space. You've got a big, large heat pump there. It's good for heating and for air conditioning. But if you want to make this into a large rec room, uh, again, you could make this into a massive formal dining room if you wanted to, because as you come through here, uh, we've kind of circled around here just to give you a perspective. And this is looking back into your kitchen. So you could be handing food straight through to here if you wanted to, or you could set it up. Um, again, there's a, a, a TV area, a rec room area, pool table would be awesome in here. Some great chairs just to sit and look out over that amazing view. And then from here, you step down a couple of steps into a massive double car garage with really nice high ceilings. No problem fitting two vehicles in here, even with extra storage at the backside. Fully done, heated, insulated, all drywalled with some very nice lighting. A great addition to the property. So, come back around here. So hardwood floors in this section here and then ceramic floor over in that section. But they've just put a rubber mats down just for their uh, gym equipment. And then you have the nice ceramic floors here that also look like slate. So now we're going to come back through. There's a really beautiful uh, light and airy feeling to this house in part because of the colors, but obviously because of the amount of windows and brightness here. The wood is all in a light natural color, which is also very serene. And now we will step upstairs to your sleeping area. Solid hardwood floors coming up the stairs, very solid. You can hear it as you, or should say you can't hear it as you step up, which is a great feature. And then when you get to the top of the landing, you have one of four bedrooms. Now this bedroom is, is cute and it can absolutely be used as a uh, spare bedroom, but what an awesome office. Sort of tucked up, very private, again with those views. The heating source here is all electric. You have convect heaters, which is what you have here, and then the heat pump. So stepping into the second bedroom, again, very bright, good size bedroom. And here you have another nice feature is you have lighting in the closets. And it's a good deep closet that goes all the way into the end there, which is awesome. And again with the mirrored doors. So from here, we will go into you have a linen closet here. And then you have your second full bath. And there's been a full renovation that's been done in this bathroom. You have a really nice mat, 12 by 24 tile, a beautiful soaker tub. You have double vanity with the quartz countertop, two mirrors, great lighting, and then a massive walk-in shower with a beautiful shower head and then tile that is looks like well, might even be actually I'm just oops wrong side open the door 
and it's like a stone, like a river stone that's uh, in the flooring here, which is a really neat feature. Again, and another look at that beautiful faucet. And then again, tucked around the corner is your toilet and a very cute little window. So very nice bathroom. Good lighting. Very nice. So down the hall from here, you have your third bedroom, which is very large. You could be using this bedroom as your master bedroom because it's certainly large enough to do so. And it has floor to ceiling or almost floor to ceiling windows on the back side, but that's great because you have lots of privacy because you have trees there. But when you're lying in bed, you can see the water. And you can also see it from the window over here. And you have a very nice walk-in closet. And this is all your, also your access point to your attic. Some very nice lighting uh, in here as well. Some light, nice light fixtures. Then we head down into what is the master wing, which if you're wondering where sort of this is, it is on top of the garage. So you have all of the space above the garage. Garage, You have tons of closet and storage area because there's two of these deep full closets. And again, with the lighting, which is fabulous. And then a beautifully appointed primary suite. Again, with those same almost floor to ceiling uh, windows there. There's actually three windows in this one. You have another window there and another window here. Now this, uh, unfortunately, doesn't overlook the water, but it's on a very quiet side of the house. And from here you have trees and more trees. And then you have a mini split in here as well. So you have heating and air conditioning in your primary bedroom. And then you have a very large walk-in closet. And with the same lighting as in the other walk-in closet that's on the other side of this. And again, glistening hardwood floors. The hardwood floors are really beautiful. They're in great shape. So that is the second level, we will pop down to the primary level. And one more look at that beautiful view. And it looks like there is a concrete. See, the next door neighbor has all stone for their breakwater, but I believe this property has all concrete breakwater to go down to your beach, which would almost be private because other than the people that live on this street, there would not be a whole lot of people that are walking on it. But like I said, if you're interested in doing something like kayaking or paddle boarding or just sitting and looking at those beautiful sunrises, it's the place you want to be. Now, the basement area is not finished, but it's worth taking a look at because it is probably one of the neatest, cleanest basements I have ever seen in my life. Um, it's not a full eight foot. It's probably only, um, I'm going to say maybe six feet, but what a perfect area for storage. You have your, all your mechanical down here. So here's your 200 amp panel, all very neatly done. You have your hot water tank, which is rented with NB Power. You have a nice little wash up sink here. And it's just, I mean, amazing how neat and clean and dry it is down here. Great, amazing space for storage. And then on top of that, one little surprise, which I have yet to show you. So once again, you have more storage. Never gonna lack that here. And even the floors feel warm. There's several heaters down here. Your central vac unit is there underneath the stairs and your air exchanger is over here. And then they have two full banks of more storage and even a freezer, stand up freezer here. 
So, you know, you have definitely room to put that stuff, but you know, if you look up here, there's just, you can see the engineer trusses first of all, but you can see that the ceilings are about six feet, maybe a little over six feet. Now this space here, which has a lock on the door, and you'll see why in a minute, is pantry, which is, I guess, a good thing to keep behind a locked door if needed, with great storage, lots of extra storage for that. But then really your true pièce de résistance is your incredibly well-equipped wine cellar and uh, tasting area here. It is an absolutely beautiful room that uh, appears to have probably a temperature modifier as well as a, um, for the humidity to keep the humidity set. And then these really two beautiful tables set out and all of the storage around here. So when you're not upstairs looking at the views, you can be downstairs or you can be just grabbing a bottle and heading back upstairs to enjoy it once again in front of that incredible view. So we're just going to do one more quick run up the stairs to take our last final view of this really unique, extremely unique uh, property here in beautiful Beresford, which is just, this little um, town has, uh, you know, it has liquor stores, it has grocery stores, it has a couple of banks, it has some pharmacies, really has everything that you need. And you're only about six minutes from Bathurst. Uh, you're an hour from the Quebec border. You're two hours or two hours and a little bit from Moncton, five hours from Quebec City, eight hours from Montreal. And it's just incredible to see how much more you will get for your money on the Bay of Chaleur compared to almost any place else in Canada. A few years ago, this was named the area with the most affordable housing in all of Canada. So if you're interested, give us a call.